so this is quadratic equation so under quadratic equation we are going to look at the equation which came in 2021 with the two gc so the question reads solve the equation 3x plus 5 over x is equals to 4 giving your answers correct to two decimal places so that means that we are going to have two different answers so our answers must be around the two, two decimal places so what we do in order for us to solve this type of problem we are going to use the quadratic formula so in order for us to use the quadratic formula uh, the arrangement of our equation must be must match the arrangement for the standard form of a quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero so that is our main target for the first for the first time we are going to rearrange this one in this form so since we have a fraction there, we don't have a fraction, so we are going to work out of this fraction. We kill this fraction. How do we kill this fraction? You multiply throughout by the denominator here is x. So it will be x multiplied by everything. 3x plus 5 over x equals to 12. Next, this will be x times 3, it will be 3x squared plus 5 to x times 5, it is 5x. Divided by x, we are going to remain with 5 equals to x times 12, it will be 12x. So from there, we arrange this one. It will be 3x squared. This will be minus 12x plus 5 equals to 0. Now, it is matching the standard form of the quadratic equation. From there, you can copy the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything over 2a with a good handwriting. So this is x is equals to negative on b. So our b is negative 12. So all the formula are negative. So negative and negative will baptize each other. We are going to remain with negative 12. So it is negative 12 plus or minus square root of o, which is negative 12 squared minus 4. Our a is 3. Our C is negative, it's supposed to be 5. Just like that. And everything over 2, our A is 3. So next step, it is 12 plus or minus root of negative 12 squared, which is 144. Negative 4 times 3, it is 12. 12 times 5 is 6, so we are going to have negative 6. Everything over 2 times 3, 6. So this implies that x is equal to 12 plus or minus root 144 minus 60, the result will be 24. Then everything over 6. So this is x is equal to now 12 plus, we go with the positive part, which is with 84, everything over 6. Or x is equal to 12, we go with the negative part. Is 12 minus 84 over 6. From there now, this is if you get your scientific operator. This is the scientific operator. This is the scientific operator. What you do on the scientific operator? You say open brackets 12 plus 84 divided by 6. You have not changed any meaning. So we have not evaluated you with 84 because 84 is not, is not a perfect square number. So all x is equals to open brackets 2 minus 80, 84, everything divided by 2. Good. From there, x will be equal to this side when you punch everything on your operator. This side, you are going to have 3 or this side will be x is equal to, when you do the same model operator, it will be 0 0.4724468. Remember, the question says you have to leave our answers correct to two decimal places. So this side x will be equal to, and rounding off this one, it will be 3.5, the rounding figure it is 2, the number. Next to 2 is less than 5, so it's greater than 5. So borrow and add to 2, it will be 3. Same applied this side, x will be equal to 0 
Now this one, the round is either the same, so the next number is less than five. So we just write same as the way it is. The way it is. Then therefore, these are the answers. So it is equal to three point five three or eight is equal to zero point four seven. We end there. Thank you for watching.